Would you like to make custom prints using one of your own custom brushes? Well, it starts with the guide that you will find inside of the Pattern Buddy brush set. And that, along with a personal touch and the three videos that go along with it for this project will get you well on your way. For this project, we'll need a couple of items, including the most recent version of Procreate and the brush set that's for sale at my site called Pattern Buddy. And you can find that set at bit.ly forward slash digi dash merch or you can just go ahead and scan the QR code. Three things before we start. We're going to be using a 12 by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi for our project and that translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Next, I would love to see your patterns and if you'd like to share them, please share them at Instagram with the hashtag digi with Liz. Next, you can check your patterns to see if they're seamless at my site. Go to bit.ly forward slash check dash tile. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. I have a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, which translates out to uh, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. I'm going to go over to my colors here real quick and just double tap down in the dark colors so that black is selected. And then I'm going to go over to my pattern buddy set that is available through my Etsy shop. And I'm going to select the geometric flowers. And I'll leave a link in the description below for this particular uh, set. Okay, so the geometric flowers, um, I'm going to dial it down just a little bit and tap in the center. There we go. And then I'm going to come over to my move and transform tool and I'm going to fit to canvas. Okay, awesome. All right, and now I'm going to go back to my first layer, tap it, and tap reference and I'm going to be using this as a reference and what that means is that I can fill in layers up above uh, that will fill into the shapes that are available to me. So what we're going to do is create a new layer on top here and we're going to go I like this yellow here and this is the Digi Arts with Liz favorites number one and it's available for free at my site I will leave a link in the description below and I'm going to put in some colors here so I'm going to go this corner is the same corner and the same corner and the same corner so I'm going to fill that whoops and my threshold is pretty low here. You can see it looks like it's 5% to fill in these little shapes just like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. And that's one leaf. I'm thinking three leaves. I want to have three leaves or not, or petals, whatever these are. <laughs> I don't want them to be right next to each other either. So that's a good one. And let's see, probably that one right there. Okay, so they're all kind of spread out a little bit. All right, now I'm going to create a new layer because we're going to make these be different brush layers in the end. Um, not in this video, but in a video that I will link. And you'll see that video in the end of this video. There will be a link. Um, so, but I want to have them in different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and at this point create new colors on new layers, just like that. Again, I don't want these right next to each other. So something like that. Okay, and new colors and so a new layer. And I like this blue color right there. And I guess I could leave that there. Awesome. And now I'm thinking we need a red. Okay. So a new color like that color and then a new layer. Okay. Okay. So my intention is not to leave it black, though you could. I am going to um, have this be white. So I'm going to go back down to my reference layer and tap it to get the layer open and tap reference so that's not a reference anymore and then I'm going to tap it again and then this time I'm going to select invert so that's white and I think this is a really fun pattern you could turn this into like a some sort of um, gift paper or something like that I'm going to go back up to my top layer and tap it and I come over my wrench add copy canvas and paste and this will be the layer that I test to see if my tile here will work as a, a pattern a seamless pattern so I'm here at digiartswithliz.com and I select tools and pattern checker. It takes me to this page so I can see just a two by two uh, block repeat of this pattern to make sure that it's in fact seamless. So that's what I'm going to do. Just grab this and drag it in and it looks good. There's no seams in any of the petals or leaves, whatever these are. <laughs> I created them, but I don't even know what to call them. <laughs> anyway, this looks really good. So I think that uh, this is a good start for our uh, tile. Now, if you just need a single tile for whatever application you're using, this uh, does the trick for you. Um, if, however, you would like to have some versatility and make a seamless brush pattern or even a larger seamless tile, this tutorial shows you how. 
Thanks so much for joining me. I hope your day is amazing.